like that this is really completely new top flight and I think it's a great moment for all of us and I'm delighted that you are all, uh, all of you with us today to share and witness these great moments but now let me hand straight over to Elvis, President and CEO Fabrice Regier for a few words on this very special moment Thank you, thank you what a great flight congratulations guys and uh, I will be very short. This is uh, the second member of the 350 family, but uh, we don't get used to it. And so there was as much as emotion as for the first uh, uh, flight of the 350-900. And we should not forget that uh, there are big changes on this aircraft. Uh, this is uh, not just a stretch, it's a new engine. Uh, and I would like to thank Rolls-Royce uh, for their a huge contribution. It's uh, also a, a new ND gear system and the Utah did a great job, many modifications and uh, it's Airbus, its partners, everybody who contributed to it. We wanted to fly uh, around the first, third quarter of uh, 2016 and we managed to do that three, four weeks, not more compared to the original planning. So it means on top that uh, Airbus has now a good control of its developments. And uh, this is, I believe, uh, what our customers expect. I would like to thank the customers who are joining us. We have here three customers of uh, uh, the 350-1000. We have globally 11 customers with uh, 195 net orders. And I'm pleased uh, uh, to welcome today uh, the representatives of Qatar Airways, who will be our launch customer with a delivery next year, but also uh, Etihad and Cathay Pacific. So thank you very much for your support. And uh, you did a great job, which uh, uh, has been, I hope, confirmed by the feeling of our first test crew. So now I hand over to you guys. Thank you, Boris. Now, I'm not only glad, but extremely honored to introduce you to our exceptional flight test crew, starting with Hugh van der Stichel, experimental test pilot, and the captain of our flight today. Bonjour à tous, hello to all, and uh, we are very, very happy to be there. We didn't want to land because the aircraft was so comfortable. Uh, the takeoff was smooth, and the, with calm weather, we are more or less lucky. Uh, I can tell you the sun is over there and it was nice and the pyrenees are white. Uh, aircraft was very cool at takeoff, very smooth takeoff for, uh, from every point of view. ATC was very helpful, so we managed to fly around the Pyrenees for the whole flight and we reached all our objectives today and that's uh, we are very proud of it. And uh, let Frank comment the landing and uh, thanks again to all of you, a magnificent aircraft, it's a good start. Frank Chapman, experimental test pilot and first officer today. Well, welcome everybody. Um, for all the people that were involved in this program, not only at Airbus, but all our subcontractors also, you should be justifiably proud because this aircraft really has been quite remarkable this morning in terms of its handling and, uh, and performance. One of the things that's always interesting for us pilots is to see how uh, a change of an aircraft type, a stretch like this, affects uh, the aircraft handling. Particularly being fairly long in the fuselage, it tends to have an air elastic characteristic that affects the handling qualities. Uh, and it's always interesting for pilots to see what those changes are. I'm pleased to say that it was actually remarkably similar to the 900, which is, which is a great news. There'll be a little bit of tuning to do, of course, but nothing, uh, nothing major. It performed remarkably well. And it's just as well, because uh, on approach at 200 feet, I was thinking, well, there's Fabrice out there and, and, and half the world from Airbus, uh, and I really, I, I can't afford to screw up the landing. So it was, uh, it was a real pleasure. I had a great team with me, so, uh, so thanks very much, guys. Thanks very much to you all uh, and the rest of the people who uh, put so much into this airplane and dedicated so much time over the last few years. Gérard Maisonneuve, test flight engineer. Uh, 
Uh, hello everybody, so I would like to thank uh, all the people from uh, FAL who has delivered such a great aircraft to the flight test. After all the, the team in the flight test who has well prepared the aircraft for the first flight with us. So during uh, most of the flight, all the system I was in charge of behave as expected. Landing gear, brakes, hydraulic, air conditioning. So it's a successful flight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bonsoir tout le monde, good afternoon everybody. Um, we had the privilege already to fly this engine already one year ago on the flying test bed. It was a good investment, an excellent investment, because it's fantastic today to have these two engines making an aircraft fly. Before it was the 380 making the engine fly, now it's the engines making this aircraft fly. So it has an uh, achievement of uh, a lot of efforts, a lot of uh, time spent together, more between uh, us, I mean, Rolls Royce and people than with our families, maybe. It's a good achievement, but it's just the start. So a lot of challenges to, to, to accomplish, but together we will be able to meet in order to give an excellent aircraft to our customers. Thank you, guys. flight test engineer. So, bonjour tout le monde, hello everybody. Uh, I would just say some words about uh, what we did when we were far away from here and that you, you couldn't see us. Uh, so we, we opened the flight envelope from uh, the minimum uh, speed to the maximum speed, uh, operational speed, uh, at uh, flight level 100, so 10,000 feet. And uh, in direct law and in normal law, it's a little bit technical, but I think it's good to precise that. And then we climb to flight level 250 and we open uh, again the, the flight domain up to uh, 340 knots, max 0.81, which is the maximum speed, operational speed, uh, without any concern. And uh, I want to thank uh, particularly uh, all the teams from the design office, which have made a, a remarkable work uh, to prepare to, first to design but also to prepare and uh, on the flight test department uh, validation teams we had a hard work together uh, during the eight last month uh, but the achievement is there and uh, it flies remarkably thank you very much thank you Shane of flight and integration test but today especially flight test engineer on this flight probably for a few words on the upcoming certification campaign yes thank you what can i say more now because i have seen everything um first of all i would like to thank you guys uh, and uh, i know your love your family are there uh, i can tell you they are pretty good uh, they are professional i've never seen so good so good professional thank you so much i was honored to fly with you guys uh, then I would like to thank you all of you. Um, for, for sure, uh, it has been a, it is a beginning of a difficult campaign, for sure, because uh, we have the pressure of the time, and the boss is there to remind me to recall that every day. Um, we, will, we will succeed, I'm pretty sure we will succeed, because uh, I've seen over the last uh, couple of uh, weeks a tremendous uh, spirit inside all the teams, and I really would like to thank all the teams which were behind us. We felt it. Uh, when we are preparing the aircraft and it gave us it gave to us a big boost and uh, for us then it was just easy for for this guy to pull up the stick and to take off um, now uh, this is a start you have seen that the aircraft is well born we managed with the weather it was not that easy boss but we may now order a good weather in time actually we should not fly the, it was good not to fly <laughs> it was not good not to fly this uh, during the night um, because the weather was really bad, but then we could fly today uh, with, as you said, a big sun uh, under the cloud. In front of us, we have now a flight test campaign. Uh, we have a lot to achieve together, and I know we do it. So uh, we will target uh, a certification next year. And uh, we know that for us, it's not only about uh, having the type certificate, but also targeting maturity at EIS and uh, we will work a lot for that in order that our dear customers have a very good aircraft at the end in, the, in, their, in their hands. 
So um, I would just finish uh, by saying enjoy, because yes, we have a big challenge in front of us, but we have a marvelous aircraft, fantastic aircraft, and please enjoy the coming months in until the next certification, until we deliver the first one, and then even beyond that. Enjoy. Thanks, Ken. Okay. Now it's time for a group photo, and I'm extremely pleased uh, to welcome on stage Didier Evra, uh, Head of Programs. Yeah. Patrick Pedrakita, Head of N350 Executive Program. Yeah. René Hernandez, Head of N350-1000 Program. And Eric Schultz, Rolls-Royce President, Civil Aerospace.